Hey guys, I've seen a lot more casual players be a bit confused about where to find some of the sources of tier 1 materials that you need to get yourself into tier 2. So I'm just going to go over the primary sources, how to get them, what to do with them. Very simple, nice and quick, as usual. Let me just move into here. Alright. So this will be in any major city. I'm currently in Rofan in Rohundal. But of course you'll have it in Vern Castle, in Northern, in Lutera Castle, in East Lutera. You can figure it out, I'm sure. Obviously your primary source is going to be doing your two daily chaos dungeons. Doing these, as you can see, uh, with each level. Oh, I'm 580 now, I can do these ones. <laughs> You're going to get access to these materials so destruction stones here for tier one these are for your weapon uh guardian stone fragments for all the rest of your armor <clears throat> um harmony leap stones you need them for each one each upgrade and harmony shards you need to use those to fill up the experience bar of all, each piece of uh, equipment and then also you need to spend it each time you attempt to upgrade uh, also perception shards and disorder crystals on reruns. Uh, these are, first of all, if you don't know what those are, it's very useful. These little, this little big person here, you can get perception shards, you can turn them in, you can change, get loads here. Um, it's not very efficient because you don't get very many per run and you only get a very small amount for each uh, one that you hand in so i would only do it if you there's a lot more things you could do in your day personally but i would i would only do it if you're pretty close to uh the next tier that you have like you need to get 10 or maybe 100 shards or whatever but can be good in a bit of a bind the disorder crystals that are only really used for the armor so you may as well buy it when you get them just to hope you get something better you know um i usually go for the engravings on my accessories uh rather than the stats because they don't add up to your overall item level but of course if you're not getting if you don't have a good item <laughs> if you don't have a very good uh, engraving on one of your things then you can just upgrade it with this and it doesn't really matter just for the base stats so if we go here we are now at the guardian raid board this will obviously be in every town as well we have a little look in here of uh, is all nice look at that so these are the first ones and if you're at like 500 gear score you can probably solo this pretty easily um, Virtus, the final one, can be a bit tricky, especially if you're a back attack, but just something like Lancer should be easy. Uh, but you do get access to the Destruction Stones, the Guardian Stones, and the Harmony Leaf Stones again. You also get some Ability Stones, and good stuff as well. And this just upgrades, it just means you get a little bit more. Now a little bit more unknown is, we'll go over here, we have the Tower. I'm sure you've heard of this or seen it very nice little structure now doing this as you see here on this is my main and i have access to some materials now if you're looking at it and you haven't done it for the first time uh you won't see this you will see engraving books uh, the reason being is that if you complete this on your alt you will get these engraving books or report chests these types of things these are the ones i haven't done at all but then if you do it again on your main if you're running low materials you can get access to harmony shards now if you do manage to push your main past um past that point without needing to have some of these i'd recommend going through the rest of it on your main so that your alts can get access to the materials so just to say you can only do it once per character and the first time you get access to all of these good things and then the if it's uh, on a different character 
you get access to upgrade materials. Okay, so we're in here in Sunshade Hall. That's just up here, but you will also have access to this. It's the little icon here, the Samel Bloodstone Exchange. Now, obviously, I would recommend being in a guild from day one. If you're not in one now, enter a random one that looks good. Uh, one with friends, obviously, is always nice. And you get access to these honing materials bits. Now, honestly, unless you're pushing hard, I wouldn't recommend buying them. Um, I have bought some because uh, I'm weak, <laughs> but I would not recommend it personally. Simply being because uh, you can save these bloodstones for tier three. You'll get access to all of this good stuff here which is a lot harder to get costs a lot of bloodstones and you're gonna be wanting to buy this out every week <laughs> uh now obviously you still can especially if you're a little low a little under or it doesn't matter massively uh but my recommendation is to save it i have not that's because i know i can get the bloodstones pretty quick uh it takes it can take a bit of time to get them up though if you're not wailing the whole game so if we're down here you see the proven grounds entry board you can also press it here we've got the pvp very lovely love pvp it is great in this game usually you have courage tokens now i we are still in the first week so i'm not sure what's happening with that we should have access to them but currently we don't uh, but usually courage tokens are you get uh, weekly from uh, winning or even losing just contributing doing some pvp and then you can buy upgrade materials at a merchant that's usually standing right here if i remember correctly but they're not uh, but that's just in future just something to keep an eye on now opening this we have our dailies and weekly una tasks dailies we have access to harmony shards and we got some stones as well i wouldn't recommend going for these because you're just going to get them anyway always go for some good stuff you do have free a day over here said and you can increase the limit you also can get some silver some stars breath leap stones some golden goblin coins as well but that's not super useful right now um now to get access to these you need to unlock them via doing them once at wherever they are some of them are islands some of them are in spiritual zones and also make sure you're trying to get to these 70 points every week because these unas tokens you can transfer into the gold store and get a lot of gold for them though i would recommend not transferring them until you've got the full 800 i believe it is for the big one uh that will give you a lot more gold than the other ones uh just hold out wait a bit be poor for a while i know it's painful but you can make it weeklies of course give a lot more and they also give a lot of roster xp so we have this here and getting your roster up so you're level 31 here is very useful uh especially for leveling alts that sort of thing although we don't really need to do that in eu because we have about 20 free uh power passes uh you also get access to some stones these are these can be good when they are these ones but i still wouldn't recommend it um the only reason i'm doing it here is because i have plenty of leap stones uh so i don't need these uh so i thought i'd go for the free here try my rng luck these are the only two now you can only take one of the same type so we have the chaos dungeons here so i can only take one of these i can't take another one uh guardian raids two of these cube some of these as well boss rush as well proving grounds as well proving ground ones are very they're very useful you can get a lot from them and sailing ones as well now of course you might have heard of the islands so we have a look at the map we have islands all over the sea it's that's an island that's an island look at all these islands and it seems confusing and that's because it is <laughs> and it's not explained quite how important these are i'm not going to give that a go simply being because i could 
uh, but this has already become longer than I would want it to be. I like my videos to be short and snappy for people to just digest like that. If you want to learn about which islands to go to to get tier 1 upgrade materials and tier 2 ones as well uh, when you get to that point, watch the video by Benley Gaming. I'll have it linked below and on the screen, maybe somewhere, and probably at the end of the video as well. That has also reminded me of a lot of islands that I would have missed because it is very easy to miss them because of how many there are. Now with that said, uh, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for the support lately. This channel has been blowing up a bit. Well, blowing up in my eyes, maybe not in, you know, some other creators eyes. Saiwo has gone up to 100k very, very quickly. He's got like 50k in a month. <laughs> and I just, I do appreciate the support though. Follow me on Twitch. Uh, I stream a lot of Lost Ark. I will answer every question live there. Although I will check my YouTube to answer questions down below as well, of course. So yeah, have a great day. Bye.